The NBA is officially back, alright, after news of multiple games, companies being closed down and delayed, we finally get some good news. Um, the NBA will officially be coming back in July 31st, and the season the season will start on July 31st and end on October 12th, so a champion will be crowned in October, okay? With the champion being crowned in October, this already tells you the season will be shorter than usual. You guys are obviously wondering how the playoffs will go, how the playoffs will be formatted. Apparently, 22 teams, the top 22 teams in the league, not East, not West, but all, but both of them combined, all 22 teams will be heading to Disney World. And after eight regular season games, if the ninth seed is more than four games behind than, than the eighth, the number eight makes the playoffs. If they're fewer than four games behind, a play-in tournament will be played, according to Woj on ESPN. So chances are we might actually have eight regular season games and a play-in tournament. It's a huge possibility. Like I said before, the top teams are going in. They're not separating it by conference. They're doing the top teams this year. I believe the awards is pretty much already set in stone too. They said Nick Nurse is forecasted to win Coach of the Year. Bam Adebayo is forecasted to win Most Improved Player of the Year. Giannis is forecasted to win MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. From the top of my head, if my facts are right, I believe if Giannis does win MVP and Defensive Player of the Year this season, he will be the first player to do that since Michael Jordan. Maybe Hakeem did it. You know, last, I'm not too sure, but I know Michael Jordan did most definitely do that. When the playoffs does start, I'm picking the Lakers to win it all. I want my boy LeBron to win a chip, LeBron and AD. Um, I believe in any and every series, they will be two out of the top three players on the court. So I believe they will most definitely be able to carry the load for the most part and do their thing. Maybe even the top two players on the court in most series, okay? Also, the Lakers would not have to worry about seeing Giannis or Kawhi until the NBA Finals, okay? Um, both of them will be on the other side of the bracket, and that is that. Um, that's all the information I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Um, go ahead, hit that subscribe button for more content such as this. Like this video and share this video to make everybody aware of the new news that the NBA is back, baby. I'm out.